Koyan is not famous for its scenic view but also for its specialities. In this video today, we'll introduce you about four of Koyan's specialities. Now let's discover. First one is Galo. Galo is a unique dish attached to the ancient town of Poyan. The essence of this dish is noodles, often prepared meticulously. First, soak rice in ash water. Ashes must be taken from burnt firewood in Cham Islands or Gu Lao Cham, which will help noodles become crunchy, enduring and dry. Then carefully filter and powder them. Rice milling water is fresh and cool water without alum taken from the well ballet built by the Cham people thousands of years ago. Continue use cotton clothes repeatedly to make powder glutinous and dry, and then roll it into bite-sized pieces. Slice into shrimps, steam several times and dry them to make pasta. Such stitches help galo not be rancid overnight. Galo is often eaten with bean sprouts, which are soaked quickly in boiled water, but not too long to remain its brittleness. A little vegetables, taken in Chagui, famous vegetables, traditional village in Hoi An. Spill boiled bean sprouts into a bowl, put noodles on top, a few slices of pork and fried pork skin, and a tablespoon of fried lard. For pork meat, use only garlic pork because its meat is fresh, firm, flavored, thin, and its juice is sweet. When eating kalo, you will get the feeling of brittleness of pasta and other adequate flavors of saltness, spice, bitterness, tartness from raw vegetables, fish sauce, fragrance powder, soy sauce, and fried pork skin is shattering in the mouth. The second one is quang noodles. Quang noodles, like other noodles and vermicelli, are made from rice but have different nuisance and taste. Like its name, this dish is derived from Quang Nam. To make noodles, people soak root rice in water, right into fire for water, not to compact or liquid. Add a little alum to make noodles more brittle, harder, or rolled into bite-sized pieces. When noodles cooked, take out and place on the grill to cool them. Apply oil to omit their adhesiveness, then drop into strip. Broth is made from shrimp, pork, or chicken, sometimes snake head or beef. Very diverse, but the more common one is from shrimp, pork, or chicken. The broth does not need many colors or spices, but has to be fresh and sweet. Its sweetness is different from the sweetness of noodles broth cooked from beet bones or pork bones. Raw vegetables to eat with noodles are usually lettuce, basil, bay leaves, cabbage, or onions of the famous Chagui vegetable village located in the northeast of Poyan town. Only fresh vegetables in this region have all the aroma, spicy, tart, sweet, bitter, increasing the flavor of guang noodles. The third one is pancake. Pancake is the typical rustic dish of Vietnam. However, depending on each region, pancakes will bring different flavors and have different cooking styles to suit the taste as well as take advantage of the typical ingredients of each region. And of course, in Hoi An, the culinary city for cake is no exception. Pancake is also one of the famous snacks in this land. In the ancient town of Hoi An in the cold weather, the pancake is the most preferred cake. The main ingredients for its filling is shrimp. The breakfast water shrimps, soy shrimps are stout, fresh and sweet, which are dispensable ingredients to produce the sweet taste of the pancakes. The appeal of this dish, thanks to the crispy taste of rice flour, greasy taste of coconut milk, the fragrance of turmeric powder mixed all kinds of herbs. Besides, commonly used proteins or beef, stream, squid. The pancakes should be enjoyed when still hot and do not use chopsticks or spoons, but only hands. The final one in this video is bread. A rustic dish can be found everywhere in Vietnam, but it is agreed that the most delicious Vietnamese bread is phuoc bread in Hoi An. Miss Phuoc, the owner of the store, has served best bread for more than 20 years. The crispy bread is filled with soft pork, paste and ham. 
besides a mysterious source made by her make the first become more perfect.